Hello and welcome to Learning in Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. In this video, I want to talk about sharing a video in Microsoft Teams. One of the challenges we have is that if I'm using Microsoft Teams and I'm using my built-in microphone and my built-in internal speakers, and then I go to share a video, the students might not hear the audio from that video. And what we have to do is we have to do a little quick little trick here so that instead of pushing out the audio from my microphone, I'm pushing out the audio from the system. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. If tips like this are useful for you, I hope you'll hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you know any other co colleagues that could benefit from this information, I hope you'll share it with them. So let's have a look at how to push out a video in Microsoft Teams so that my students can hear and see the video. Here I am, If I'm going to show you sort of a, a diagram here and then I'll show you on the system how to do this. So the normal way, when I'm using Teams, I'm going to take advantage of the audio of my system. So in a normal environment, I will have built-in speakers. So I might have some built-in speakers here that will give me the output for sound. And I could have a built-in microphone that will allow for microphone input. So I'll have microphone input and you could go and purchase a headset that has a microphone on it as well. And that could act as my audio input. And then for output, of course, if I have a headset, then my output instead of being the speakers would be my headphones, or it could be my speakers that are giving me my output. So whether I'm using a external device like a headset with audio, or whether I'm using the built-in microphone and the built-in speakers, the point is that I'm getting audio in and out of my computer system. Now, when I take something like a YouTube video, and I share that on my screen through Teams. So I have a Teams meeting running and I want to share off that YouTube video. I can share off the screen which will give me my video so I can have my YouTube video being shared out. So my YouTube video is being shared out. The problem is my students won't hear it. And the reason my students won't hear it is because this is made up of both video but it is also made up of audio. And what I need to do is I need to go into Teams and I'll basically have a switch in here. And instead of having the audio go out to my speakers or my headphones, what I want to do is I want the audio to become system audio and I want it to go out to my students. And then when I switch back to speaking to my students, I want to switch again and I want to put the audio back to my headphones or my speakers. So you're switching between two audio outputs. You're switching between the audio that pushes out to your students and the audio that plays on your headset or on your speakers of your system. And it's quite easy to do. I'll show you how to do this by, by demonstrating it. So let's go have a look at that. The first thing I want to do is confirm what am I using for audio. Now in my case, I'm using an external USB microphone and that's my input. And for output, I'm using my speakers. So if I go into a meeting, let's go in and meet now and I'll call this meeting audio demo. And you'll see that right now my camera's off. So I also have video input for my, my camera. So I could turn on my webcam or any of the devices that I have attached to my system as a camera. And for the microphone here, if I go into my custom setup, you'll notice I have an external microphone, which is a uh, called a Yeti microphone. That's the USB. Or I can use my Realtek speaker headphones, which is part of my laptop. So I have those choices are, uh, as audio. In my case, input, I want my microphone to be my USB microphone. So I know that's happening. So I go join now. So now I've joined this meeting. So it's going to set up a meeting here for me. So now I have my meeting here. I could invite people to join me and such. And what I'll do is, is I'll have somebody come and join me. Maybe Clark Kent or, or Arthur. Somebody will come in and join me. So I'll just put them onto another computer so that I have a participant. So Clark has joined the meeting and I have this website that contains videos on YouTube that I think is, is really worth sharing out. So I go into YouTube and there's this great channel called Learning and Technology with Frank. And I really think you should subscribe to this channel and hit the like button on all the videos that this guy does. 
So obviously that's me. And I want to look at, say, booking student meetings. So I've got the video, and you'll notice I'm not hearing any sound right now. So if I go in, I'm going to stop that playback. And what I'm going to do is when I share out the content, what I need to do is click this slider to include the computer sound. Now, when I share out that content, it will include the computer sound, and the computer sound includes the audio for the YouTube video. So now I'm going to share it out, but now instead of just being the video, it's also sharing the computer audio. So if I'm on Clark's computer, I'm actually hearing the audio that goes along with this video. And the key to that was, again, if I go in the meeting, I'll stop sharing. The key there was when I share it, I need to include the computer sound. And notice each time I go into sharing, I have to include that computer sound if I want the computer sound, hence the audio, to be transmitted to the students. So hopefully that was helpful. It's a little trick, but I hope it was useful for you to see that. It can be very frustrating when you want to share a YouTube video, like the fantastic videos from this channel with your students, and, and they can't hear the audio. I mean, that's horrible. So if you like the video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And here's some more videos that you can take a look at to get better and better at teaching with teams.